Now, I said the cup of suffering is a cup of pain. What is pain? Pain can be defined as highly physical sensation caused by illness or injuries. A very unpleasant physical sensation that is caused by what? Illness or what? Injury. What is pain? Pain is an sensory and emotional experience. It's an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience experience what is pain pain can be defined as pain can be defined as a, a, a physical or a mental place where you experience torture against your will so pain brings physical torture bring a sense of mental torture a man i want to share with you who experienced this cup of the lord is a man called job a man called job job in the book of chapter 1 verse 6 now it was not job's business what was happening in the in the court room of god you know there are many times you wake up in the morning and you don't know what has been deliberated by the lord concerning your life that day father bless me this day and the father chooses to torment you that day or he allow he chooses the tormentor to torment you because god does not torment he allows us now let me explain something to you let me give you one revelation get this please remind me to go back to job one right yes sir i just want to digress a bit i said i, I said something in error just now saying that you pray for god's blessing and god torments you know god does not torment god will allow the tormentor so let me explain something to you now in the book of exodus we see what happened where um, god told moses and i will send the spirit of death mm. sorry he didn't say i will send the spirit of death he says i will pass over and when i see the blood when I see the blood, I will what? I will pass over. So the, 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 the blood that was taken from a pure lambs, uh, without blemish, was, was placed on the lambs, lamb post and what? And doors. And so the Lord said, I will see the blood. When I see the blood, I will do what? Pass Question is, is it God that was passing over to kill people? No. It was the spirit of death. Now hear this. Now we know the Bible tells us where when God was looking for who would um, send the king of Judah and the king of Israel to their death. Ahab and who? I've preached it not long. King, king of Samaria and king of Israel to the death. Ahab and who? What are their names? Let's be seated. Let's listen up. I don't want us to be standing and not giving me answers. There's no point standing. Now the Bible says that two kings are going to go into battle. And 400 prophets told them, go for you win, you come back. And there was one prophet that said, if you go, you do what? You will die. The king said, lock him up. Lock him up! When I come back, I will deal with it, right? Lock him up. Did the king come back? What are the names of the kings? This king. Oh, are you asking me or you are telling me? Who is confident to tell me the answer? Is anybody online? No, is she, is she asking me, is it? Can anybody online tell me? It was Ahab. King of, and another king, king of, it was Israel and Samaria. What were the king's names? If not, I'll pick my Bible, I'll go home. Anybody online? It's in 1 Kings 22, sir. Why are you here? 1 Kings 22. Huh? What were the names of the kings? 